Hello and welcome to the For Your Ears Only podcast. Today you're joining us on a special episode of Recasting slash Remake, where we look at the classic James Bond movies and essentially rewrite them as though they were going to be made in the modern times. Modern time has been 2024 and appropriately we are looking back to a movie that was made and is obviously going to be set in 1974. The Man with the Golden Gun, 50 years on, what a moment to rip apart the movie and put it back together with our own spin. So if you've seen these episodes before, then thank you. If you've not seen them before, then the rules are that we essentially recast the movie, we put a new artist on the song, which cannot change, and we can also do plot tweaks to fit into more modern era. We cannot use actors which have been, or actors or artists which have been in the James Bond movies before. We cannot use actors that we've put in previous roles and I believe that's it. The movie has to be set in 1974, mm-hmm. obviously made and released in 2024, and all that yada yada yada. Yeah. Yes. Good. So, today, as I mentioned, we're looking at The Man with the Golden Gun. Not a huge cast I have no. for this. I do have quite a big plot change. Oh. And before we go into this, mm-hmm. if you've not seen the other episodes where we go through the movies, go back and look at The Man with the Golden Gun, because this is actually where the idea for this special came from. We were talking about if The Man with the Golden Gun was to be remade nowadays, what we would do. But and yeah, that thus, is the, the original. The special was yeah. then burst from this, so that's true. That's the whole point, that's why that's why we're here, I so think. This is, it's been all building up it's to all this. It's all building up to this, we can finish <laughs> after this. So, we're going to start at the very top. Right. So, obviously I don't have a James Bond. Mm-hmm. You'll have a James Bond. Mm-hmm. It's the same James Bond in your previous episodes. Mm-hmm. So if you've not seen them, go back and look at Live and Let Die and Diamonds Are Forever. You have a yep. new Bond for the 1970s. Yes. Who is? Jacob Elordi. Bathman from Saltburn. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And obviously you have a Q as well. Uh, a Q, uh, we haven't talked about this, but my Q is Tom Hollander. Oh, I was going to cast him in something and I completely forgot. Oh well, not Tom Holland, Tom no. Hollander. Hollander. You heard a story about him getting his paycheck? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't see that. That was pretty cool. Yes, uh, I was going to cast him in something I completely forgot. Anyway, um, so that's your cue. You mm-hmm. obviously have a M a as well. Bruce Greenwood. Yes, with a British accent. Yes, <laughs> and I believe that's it. That's your recurring cast. Uh, Money Penny. Who's your Money Penny? Um, Money Penny for the seventies is going to be Keenan Knightley. All right, that's quite good. She's good. V- very British. Because yeah, very British in English. But she is a, she's like ten years older than Jacob Elordi, so it's kind of got that good balance. That's true, actually. You were right. She was in her flat at one point. You did tell me that. Yeah, I tell playing everybody. With that, playing with that um, Pirates of the Caribbean game, the five fours. Uh-huh. No one understands that game. I. Uh, you tell everyone that. Tell everybody. That Someone she... I know <laughs> did this. <Yeah. laughs> Um, okay, so that's the recurring cast. Let's start with the the, the top, the big bill. So Scaramanga. The big dog. Who is Scaramanga in your recasted movie? My Scaramanga is either, <laughs> it's either Will Porter. Okay, big bill, Will Porter. Yes. Still with his eyebrows. Yes, not golden Will Porter. Or, or, Robert Pattinson. Okay, why? Those, those are very young actors. Because Jacob Elordi is young, and the whole impetus of this was that James Bond meets his evil double, basically. Okay. And it was supposed to be two people who are, could be interchanged, mm. just their morals were different. I suppose it'd be cool. So well, I would be quite good at that, yeah. Or maybe Robert Pattinson. They're both quite strong. If you're going to go down that route of yes. young young people. My, I went the opposite direction. Okay. Um, well, not opposite, sorry. Um, my Scaramanga is Benedict Cumberbatch. That's good. Because I thought, big name, mm-hmm. big tall British mm-hmm. person. Um, but I'll explain why it doesn't really matter when I go into the story. Oh, okay. That, that is a good guess. So at this point, I would usually want a knickknack, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave that one till last. <laughs> okay. Now, the thing is, I had a hard time with knickknack. And it doesn't sound, it sounds like there's two actors to pick up Nick Nick in the world, but uh-huh. I didn't. So, <laughs> why, so why don't, why don't we go into Goodnight, 
Good night. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Think of Ringo Starr when you do that. Good night. <laughs> okay, so for Agent Goodnight. Mary Goodnight, originally played by Britt Eklund, mm. is Ellie Fanning. Okay. Because. Again, quite young. Well, a very young cast. Yeah, it's mm. a young, young film. Mm-hmm. And it's a new decade, bro. <laughs> um, Ellie Fanning, because every film I ever see her in, she sort of plays a sort of ditzy blonde, but like, she's just like a, a kind of dumb character in a lot of films. And Mary Goodnight was. <laughs> You're not a fan of Ellie. <laughs> No, not not her as a person. I mean, <laughs> you seem like a dumb character. Like my, maybe my movie. But all of her characters she plays. Have you ever seen the film A uh, Rainy Day in New York? No, it's one of my favourite films. Okay, um, but it's got Timothy Chalamet, but that's different. Of course, that's why it's your favourite <laughs> film. Um, yes. I was close to casting them in this movie, and then again, I'll explain why. Okay, um, I want to hear about that. But yes, so she and that she plays his girlfriend, and she's kind of stupid and dumb and just floaty in the mind. If you know what I mean. Okay. Mary Goodnight was very much like that because she yes. like her butt hits the lip. How leader. she was hired by the British government and had responsibilities <laughs> was a miracle. Yes. This was that was just maybe that was the seventies. See, I I wouldn't go down that route. I wouldn't do the. Essentially, she just she causes more problems than mm-hmm. essentially create solutions with that. Um, so from, who do you have? Well, my, I cast and I thought she'd be really good at this, but then I have one reservation. So for my good night, I would cast um, Elizabeth. Is it Debicki? Debicki. Um, okay. Who she, most most people are like, oh, Diana. Um, she was my number two for this. Was she? Yeah. For, for good night. Uh-huh. So. She's really good, very, very good actress. And obviously, Tenet, it was a big kind of yes. action thing. She's in The Great Gatsby, but she plays mm-hmm. in the 20s and things like that. The one issue with her is she is so, so bloody tall. Yes, and it's tall. like she will like be a foot taller than most male actors cast, yep. unless they are also really tall. So that obviously has an issue with the, the bond she kind of thing. She would stick out as an agent. <laughs> she can't fit in a car boot. <laughs> like, no, like, I can't have the flies. But I thought, she was really good, but then obviously the plot doesn't need to kind of follow that. But that was my good night. That's good. So that's the main Bond girl. You could have all your other actors on top of a box and they act with her. They do do that. <laughs> yes, but no one... <laughs> Every scene... <laughs> Well, it's either that or you cut her legs off, and that's not good enough. I'd be really cr- or you have a Dutch <laughs> angle for the whole thing. I'd be really cruel and just like, cast Tom Cruise. <laughs> You're a little man. Uh, so the other, not, not really a Bond girl, but the probably the person who sets off the motions of the movie. Mm-hmm. Um, Andrea Anders. Um, I would cast Maud Adams. <laughs> <laughs> No. Uh, so first of all, Andrea Anders, who do you have cast here as the, I don't even know what the story, the, the she sets off the chain of emotions, which yeah. the chain of emotions which says start the movie. Somebody that has to be the girlfriend of Scaramanga. So yes. Who would go out with, I, I just think, who in real life would go out with Robert Pattinson? So... I didn't put the girl from Twilight. I thought you were going to say that. <laughs> Um, but I did put Vanessa Hutchins. Okay. Disney? Yes. It's not Vanessa Ann Hutchins, or did you drop that? Vanessa Hutchins? Hutchins? Hudgens. Hutchins? 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 Hutt. Is that right? uh, no, Hud. 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 Hudgens. Oh. Yes, H U D. Um, I was in a movie with her. Yeah. That one moment. <laughs> did I speak to her? No. <laughs> did I stay 20 feet away? Yes. <laughs> Security. <laughs> yeah, so Vanessa okay. Hud- Hudson Hudgens or yeah. or maybe Selena Gomez from Only okay. Murders. Selena yeah, Gomez was actually really good. I, I actually, I forgot about her. I'm just going to keep her away. I'm going to keep her for a different movie. Something. A light bulb has went off. Um... I kind of went along the same lines of trying to keep her the same um, age as my Scaramanga as well. So mm-hmm. I went for, um, why have I written her name like that? I think it's <laughs> Car- <laughs> Car- 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 Carla Gugino or Carla Gugino. I can't remember the name of that. Um, but that's her. And, and I remember her from I don't know. Watchmen. So she's in Watchmen. 
um, playing Sally Jupiter. I remember first time watching it, I was like, okay. <laughs> yes. I like this movie. She was also in um, Sucker Punch. Right. You ever seen Sucker Punch? You've never seen Sucker Punch? I think you would like Sucker Punch. <laughs> the fact you've never seen Sucker Punch is a bit mad. Um, Sucker Punch is Zack Snyder film from 2000. And okay. 10 or something is that like that. Uh, uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson in it? No, no it does have yeah. Oscar Isaacs in it though. Um, one of the Johnson. first things I've seen him in. Um, I yes, I think it's Oscar Isaacs. Yeah, um, he's in that. He's in that. Um, a lot of other kind of actors, kind of, I don't know, cut their teeth. Is that the expression? Of yeah. their kind of acting thing in there. It is a really good movie. Um, a bit over the top, but uh, it's good. Now she's in that, and I thought she's quite good because then, again. Attractive woman of the same age, and then mm-hmm. obviously dies at a certain point as well. Benedict Cumberbatch is a good, good choice, I, even if you were to keep the plot exactly the same. Mm. Tall, 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 dark, and handsome. Tall, dark. So is my aunt. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but that was good. The twist is Scaramanga is actually James Bond. Yeah. <laughs> so that was that is everyone I've got uh-huh. for the the, the main cast. That gold fingers, brother. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you have anyone else in the cast other than Nick Nick? Right. Felix Leiter again as John Slattery. Yep. Uh, GW Pepper uh, again as oh, yeah. Mike, Mike Myers. Shrek. Um, anyone else? No, just Nick Nick. So, I want to hear who your Nick Nick is. I don't have a Nick Nick. You don't have one? I found it too problematic to cast. Because it's like, I seen this with Rachel and I was like, if you're going to cast a Nick same if you either got Warwick Davis or Peter Dinklage, Peter Dinklage would fit the bill better. Yeah. But um, I, I did want to cast Peter Dinklage, but my story change would be, and I mentioned this in the last thing, is that Nick Nick is actually the man with the golden gun. Probably not even called Nick Nick. I'm probably going to change the name. But Scaramanga is just a front. Mm-hmm. He's just... The person that people try to kill. He's a very gifted assassin. Well, gifted, he's a very gifted marksman and knows how to defend himself, but he's not the assassin. So when assassins come to get him, he's almost like a like a body double, almost. Because mm-hmm. people look at him and think he's that. So I thought I'm gonna go with someone for knickknack or whatever the name is gonna be as the butler, but someone yeah. who doesn't look physically um capable of handling himself. Right. Kinda goes away and the side. This is where I thought of Timothy Chalamet. Right. Because he's built <laughs> like this mice. <laughs> but I thought, he's too big an actor. People yes. will see that and go, they'll see through it and they'll be like, right, I see that there. So, yeah, true. instead, and the Rage was giving this idea, is Finn Wolfhard from, yeah, from Stranger, Stranger Things. things. The um, yeah, I got, because I was like, he's he, he looks a bit like Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> Does just, not. He just looks. It's the hair. He looks like less attractive Timothy Chalamet. Yeah, like Timothy. We have Timothy Chalamet at home. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I thought, oh, he could be in there. He maybe has like prosthetic or things on, so it doesn't look like the actual person. Yeah. Um, where he is the actual assassin. He is the marksman. He's like almost the dead shot. He can hit anything mm. with that. But in order. Because people know who he, people will try to kill him. Nobody is. They know what his island is. Gangsters and that come over and things. So we thought, Bendit Cumberbatch, because he looks like the tall, mm-hmm. very capable person. Yeah. Got the beautiful woman as well. And then we've got, let's call him Nick Nick, a butler. He's not really. It, that's just kind of for show where people come over. He sells them things and asks them questions and things like that. Right. Controls the island, but he's actually the assassin. So that's what, so that's your plot change. That's, that's my, that's my twist. That's what would happen. There. So what, so who does the actual killing? Maybe, maybe what's actually happened here. Why don't we make it that Benedict Cumberbatch is the one that plays Scaramanga uh-huh. does send James Bond the bullet uh-huh. as a challenge but he's mm-hmm. actually wanting him to come and kill Nick Nick because he can't kill him. He wants Ooh. out. He wants out of the job now. He's just he's a body double. He is right. essentially he can get killed at any point by these other assassins. He doesn't want this anymore, but he knows too much. He can't yeah. leave at this point. I was getting vibes of Iron Man three. 
Ben Kingsley's kind of the front character, the, ma- the Mandarin, <laughs> yeah, the front. Yes, it could it could be like that. A bit of a twist with it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so Babs, if you want to get that done, then yeah, that'll be good. But that's that's that's, that's my main thing. Do you have any um, script changes? I didn't have a knickknack because, as you say, the only person I could think of would just make the problem big. It's like, why do you cast them? I don't yeah. even know why. That, I, to be honest, I think the, the casting of Nightmare before was actually great because he was so charismatic mm-hmm. and he was like quite funny as well. He was just like, and like over here like that. Uh-huh. If you want to hear how he was behind the scenes, you're going to have to watch the you episode. Have to watch the full episode <laughs> for his escapades. Yes. Um, no, I was thinking, should I go with somebody who's a bit, I just come out and say weird looking, mm-hmm. like a Bazowski, what's his name? Who? Bazowski? Aha, uh-huh. what's his name? Big Lebowski? No. Sh- John Goodman? That's <laughs> 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 Goldfinger's brother. No. Bazowski? The weird looking guy with the eyes. Oh, is that <laughs> Steve Buscemi? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was going to be my, my Western Wind. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yes, but. Steve if, Buscemi, okay. As somebody who's not. <laughs> Who doesn't eh, this beauty standards are out with the beauty standards okay. of the day is what right. I wanted to say. Um, no, but let's go into the song. song. I panicked with the song, but I think my choice <laughs> is good. So okay. for the song, I went along with the rock mm-hmm. things, and I always wanted to go with the the high vocals, but I wanted it to be like even more upbeat than it already is. Okay, so I went for Greta Van Fleet. Oh, because Led Zeppelin are all old as shit. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I, I wanted Led Zeppelin, but no, Greta Van Fleet, they're the, they're the we have Led Zeppelin at home. <laughs> yeah, they, they are the new so, yeah, uh, Greta Van Fleet for that song. That's good. So as a straight up cover, rock. Yes. That's good. What did you I think? went for a different, completely different oh, no. thing. Um, I said John Goodman. <laughs> <laughs> it's not John Goodman. Um, I went for Charlie XCX. Okay. Because I wanted her to do a, her sort of electronic cover okay. of this. She is pretty well known for her sort of trashy, sexy, slutty, dirty lyrics, okay. which this song definitely has a lot of innuendo. Yes. Uh-huh. So that would match her style. Okay. And that's actually well thought out. To make it modern and attract the audience, she would be good. Also, you've, you've spent a lot of time on this. I've been listening to her new song for right. a long time. So over, so over the last couple of days. So, so that suggestion wasn't just Greta Van Fleet. No, I've, I've kept, since, you've been studying song, Charlie XCX yeah. for the last few days. Her song's been on repeat. It's very good. All right, I've not heard it. I'm it's not. It's called. I can't remember. Don't plug her music on this. No, I won't. I'll tell you. I'll tell I'm you. not. I'm not down with the kids, as Steve Buscemi would say. That was good, actually. That was actually very well. Yeah, she would be good. Maybe she might be the next person, actually. Mm, She could be. think Babs. That was good. Thank Thank you you very much for joining us for this one. In the next episode, you will see us Mm -hmm. take apart The Spy Who Loved Me, actually. Well, that'll be a good one. Like, who's going to cast Jaws? I have no idea. You'll have to find out, yeah. and I'll have to think of it <laughs> at some point. But yes, thank you very much for watching this episode. If you've not seen any of the previous episodes, go back and watch them. If you've not seen any of the previous just general movie episodes that we do, go back and watch them. And we also have a ton of specials as well for you to get through. As always, if you could like the episode, share it with your friends and family, and do anything else that makes us happy. And we will see... <laughs> It was all going so well. I need to find another co-host. And He's then just randomly <laughs> <laughs> And we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye.